Turning or Rotating Grill The most common form of the rotating grill used in recreational cryptography is the square type, although anything with symmetry can work too, from diamonds, rectangles, pentagons, or hexagons. If we use a square grill, then our message is expected to have a length based on the number of cells in the grid. That is, if the grill is 4x4, four four, the message should be a multiple of 16. Padding with nulls is okay. If the message is 32 letters long, say, then just treat it as two separate 4x4 four four squares. We can have an odd-numbered square, but the central hole won't be included in the rotations. By convention, the middle square will be placed in the middle of the plain text. I'll show what that means in a few minutes. Let's take the alphabet A through P. This is 16 letters, so our square will be 4x4. Four four. We'll be making four passes, starting with the initial placement of the grill, and then three rotations, clockwise also by convention. To fill in the letters in each opening once and only once, we'll need 16 divided by 4 equals 4 holes. Starting from the top left, work across the row and fill in the first letter of the text, A. Go to the next row for B, then C, and finally D. Rotate the grill 90 degrees clockwise. Repeat for the letters E, F, G, and H. Rotate 90 degrees for I, J, K, and L. And rotate once more for M, N, O, and P. Remove the grill. Read the message off in rows and group in fives. Give the message to your recipient. Creating the grill can be a bit tricky if you're doing this with pencil on paper, because it's easy to forget that a specific location will be exposed by a particular opening in the card when you do the rotations. My suggestion is to start with a sheet of graph paper, or you can make your own ruled sheet. Create the square grid. Then, mark the first location for an opening. Immediately go around the path that mark is on and X out the other three matching locations. Keep doing this until you've marked all of the remaining opening positions. Now, cut the holes in the paper to create the finished grill. Note that the paths followed by the holes during the rotations will be fixed for the width of the square you have, and the number of holes increases for each increase in width as shown here. For odd-numbered grills, we always have the one central hole. For a width of one, we have one cell, one hole, and zero rotations. For a width of three, we have nine cells, two plus one holes, and four rotations. For a width of five, 25 cells, six plus one holes. For width seven, 49 cells, 12 plus one holes. And for a width of nine, we have 81 cells and 20 plus one holes. For even number grills, for a width of two, we have four cells, one hole, and four rotations. For a width of four, we have 16 cells, four holes, and four rotations. Width of six, 36 cells, nine holes. Width of eight, 64 cells, 16 holes. And for a width of 10, we have 100 cells and 25 holes. Moving on to a five by five grill, we'll use the letters A through Y. And just for illustration's sake, I'll pretend that I'm starting to make a one by one and then progress to three by three, then up to five by five. I hope that this will show the onion layer property of the grill. We'll identify the middle letter of the message, which is M. That will go in the one by one. All of the other letters can wait until the grill is completed. For the three by three, we have eight cells, but eight divided by four is two so we only need to cut two holes in the card. Effectively, we can say that one will be a corner hole and the other is a side hole. Pick the desired corner hole and block the rest. Pick the one side hole and block the rest. Going to the five by five layer, we're adding another 16 cells, but only four new holes one corner hole and three side holes. 
Pick one corner and block the others. Pick the first side hole and block the other matching holes. Pick the second side and block the others. Pick the third side hole and block the rest. And we're done making the grill. Decryption. Decryption with the rotating grill is the same as for encryption. If the cipher length is a multiple of 25, then create a 5x5 five five grid. Next, fill the grid in rows from top left to bottom right. Place the grill over the grid in the starting orientation. If you don't know what the starting orientation is, no problem. It will be pretty obvious as you go along. Starting from top left to bottom right, write down the letters showing through the openings in the grill. Rotate the grill 90 degrees clockwise and write down the next set of letters. If you have an odd numbered square, write the letter in the middle position now. Rotate two more times and record the letters as you go. And you're finished. You should have the letters A through Y in ascending order if you did it correctly. If you began with the wrong orientation at the beginning, your message will start somewhere in the middle. That's easy enough to correct. Either drag and drop the starting block to the beginning of the line, or rotate the grill to provide the correct starting text, and write the full text out again. One note regarding odd numbered squares. Some people may leave the middle hole of the grill covered to make it less likely they'll write that letter down by mistake during one of the rotations. I consider this to be a matter of personal taste. Keep in mind that the normal process is to start at the top left of the grill and work in rows down to the lower right cell. This means that you're progressing through your message from left to right. It's impossible for the message to go the other way. That is, if you have a grid that looks like this, with T-H-E-M, you are going to get T-H-E-M out. If you have this kind of grid, M-E-H-T, you will not be able to extract T-H-E-M under normal conditions. What this means is that the original plain text was reversed before it was written into the grill, or that the cipher was reversed after it was written out. Of course, it's always conceivable that the sender and recipient agreed to go from bottom right up to the top left, but that's up to them. The black chamber guideline is to work from top left in rows to bottom right. Ciphers in Fiction, the Card and Grill Edition. William Makepeace Thackeray, 1811 to 1863, was born in Calcutta, British India. Both of his parents were connected to the East India Company. He traveled widely as he grew up and had tried studying law for a short time. He received his inheritance from his father at age 21, but spent most of it gambling and unsuccessfully launching the newspapers, the National Standard, and the Constitutional. Running out of money, he tried becoming an artist, then got married and found himself working as a writer to support his new family his wife, and three daughters. He would also illustrate some of his works. Two of his most famous novels are Vanity Fair, 1848, and The Luck of Barry Lyndon, 1844, adapted into a movie by Stanley Kubrick in 1975. He died from a stroke at age 52. The History of Henry Esmond, Esquire, 1852, is a typically satirical look at the life of one Henry Esmond, a bastard son related to the landed Castlewood family. At one point in the story, Harry's cousin, Frank, sends two letters to his mother. 
The first is a decoy that simply describes life in the court in Paris. The second looks equally innocuous. Thackeray doesn't come out and say that this is a card and grill, but that's what it is. He doesn't actually show the letter as it was written or provide the grill either, but he does give us the content of the letter and the deciphered message. So I'm going to give my interpretation of the grill. First, we have letter two. If you want to read this, I've put the link in the description below. Somehow, Lady Castlewood receives the grill, which looks something like this. Placing the grill over the letter, we get the secret message. The king will take the Viscount Castlewood's passports and travel to England under that lord's name. His majesty will be at the Lady Castlewood's house in Kensington Square, where his friends may visit him. They are to ask for the Lord Castlewood. The Cardin grill has one major advantage, which is, if the null text is cleverly written, the secret message is nearly impossible to discover. However, there are two equally major disadvantages. First, you need to create a new grill for each message. And second, you have to get the grill to the recipient somehow. And that's just as suspicious looking as your secret message is. We do have a more modern example of a card and grill too. Theory 11, not a sponsor, link in the description, released an upscale looking deck of cards called the Neil Patrick Harris Playing Cards. NPH is a magician, and he partnered with Theory11 to create a really amazing online puzzle challenge. In the deck are two special cards. One is the null message, the other looks like an art deco picture, but it actually contains the grill. If you don't mind defacing it, you can cut the rectangles out and place the grill over the null card to get the online game URL. Box 1, also from Theory11 and NPH, available from Target, uses a similar idea, but that one's not a true card and grill. On the other hand, box one does employ a modified Caesar wheel. If you want to try your hand at solving rotating or turning grill, I pinned a few practice scripts in the comments below. If you want to see some methods for solving rotating grill ciphers, you can join the Black Chamber on Patreon to get access to the next video when it comes out, or wait until it goes public on YouTube sometime later. That's enough for now. See you at the next drop point. Got questions, comments, or suggestions? Leave them in the comments below. Enjoyed this video? Then I encourage you to hit the like button and subscribe to this channel. If you want to show further support, you can join us over at the Black Chamber Patreon page, where you can get access to more how-to videos and PDFs on solving the cipher types covered here, additional crypts to solve, and more. Links pinned in the comments below. See you at the next drop point.